One of the biggest things I always wanted to learn and be able to implement in my music was that minor major blues guitar sound that Stevie Ray Vaughan, Jimi Hendrix, John Mayer, all these amazing blues guitar players were able to just implement on the fly in their guitar playing and in their music. Once I learned the simple theory and techniques on the guitar behind that, I was able to very quickly start putting that into my own music and achieving that sound that I really wanted. So I want to just show a very simple quick lick that you'll be able to pick up very easily and it will open a whole avenue of sound possibilities for your music. So in blues you have that dichotomy of the minor major, that's the tension in the sound. Essentially what we're doing is using the minor third into the major third to give that brief moment of tension but also just that really cool sound that you'll be looking for. So if we look at on the guitar in the E minor pentatonic in the open string section, we are hammering on, open G string, hammering on to the first fret. And you can instantly hear that blues sound there. So that's the minor to the major third, and then the home note E there. So you'll have heard that a million times over so many different songs and I'm sure just like me it's something that you'd love to be able to put into your own music and have that tension. Going on from there, playing the high open E string and then we're going to the B string pulling off from 3 to the open string And then back onto the G string, we are playing the 2nd fret, sliding up to the 3rd fret. Again, we have that tension there, that's the flat 4th, which is a, a staple of the blues scale and the blues sound. So from 4 to 3, open G string, and then finishing on E, which is the 2nd fret of the D string. So if you just watch closely and follow along and just try play it really slow, build it up piece by piece and you will get that sound. And once you have this lick, it will open up a whole range of sound possibilities for you. And that is all we're going to look at today, just that one little section, getting that minor into major third and also the flat fourth note. If you can just get this little sample of blues sound, it will open up that possibility for you in your music. So I would say to you just to focus on this for a long time and to get this right and then you'll be able to start finding those same notes all over the fretboard and building them into your guitar playing. And it's not just for solos, you, this can frame the overall harmonic and melodic character of your songs. Lead you into the dominant chords, which we can cover off in a different video. So I'm just going to play it a few times and I'll play it at various speeds so you can just follow along and find your way with it. So let's try it in the track.
again, it's just that simple lick. So I'm just going to continue playing, bringing that lick in and out, but I'm just going to show you where it can lead and where you can link it up with a lot of different lines that are within that same scale. So I'm just going to play out for the rest of the video, enjoy, and hopefully you've taken something from this and can take it forward into your own music and, and continue to expand your musical horizons in that sense. So. Thank you. 